Hey guys, this video is about proving parallelograms on the coordinate plane, which corresponds with section 6.3 in your textbook. There's four different methods that you could use, so I'm going to go through each method, and then you will be responsible for knowing each of the methods and executing them on, on a quiz. Okay, so the first method is finding and comparing slope. So first of all, remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x, and your slope formula looks like this. Okay, so anytime you're not given a picture, you could always use the slope formula. Just so we can practice, I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to first start with the slope of AB. So this one right here, using these coordinates. And if you have to, you always can label your points number one, number two. And then you just plug right into the formula. Simplify 4 over negative 1, which is just negative 4. Okay, now since we know in a parallelogram that opposite sides are parallel, AB would be opposite of CD. So I now want to find the slope of side CD using the same method. Okay, so 1 minus 5 over. 7 minus 6, which will give me negative 4 over 1, which is also negative 4. Now you need to compare these slopes. Well, they're the same. Whenever two segments have the same slope, you know that they are parallel. So right now we've proven that one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Now I need to do the same thing for the other sides. So I'm going to find the slope of segment BC. So 3 minus 5 and 1 minus 6. So negative 2 over negative 5, which just simplifies to 2 fifths. And do the same thing for the last segment AD. So using the point now A and D, 1 minus negative 1, watch your signs there, and then 7 minus 2. So minus negative really becomes a positive 2, 2 fifths. And also 2 fifths and 2 fifths are the same. So same slope means that they're parallel lines. Okay, now the reason why we're going to do this work is to answer the question, is this a parallelogram? Well, now that I can see both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, yes. Yes, this is a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And how do we know that they're parallel? Since they have the same slope. Okay, so you always want to make sure that you answer the question and then why or why not. So that is method one, finding and comparing the slopes, which goes along with both opposite sides parallel. That's the property that this method proves. Okay, method two uses the distance formula. So we need to recap the distance formula. In case you forgot, this is a 1. Okay, and distance always tells us the length of something. Well, we know in a parallelogram that opposite sides should be the same length. They should be congruent. So we want to test this to see are both pairs of opposite sides congruent? Are they the same length? So I need to find all four distances. I'm going to start with AB and then plug right into your distance formula. Oops. So 1 minus 2 squared, 2 minus 5 squared. Watch your signs. So this is negative 1 and negative 3 
all under the square root. Negative 1 squared is really a positive 1. And negative 3 squared is really positive 9. So this comes out to be the square root of 10. Go ahead, pause the video, and then find the distance of each of the other three sides. Okay, once you've done out the distance formula for all four sides, you should notice that two of them are the same, and the other two are also the same length. Okay, so if that happens, then you know AB and CD are congruent, and likewise BC and AD are congruent. So is this a parallelogram? Yes. Because, take a second and think about why is this a parallelogram. Our distance formulas just proved that opposite sides are the same length, so we say yes, because both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Okay, go ahead and flip to method number three. Okay, method number three is showing that lines are congruent and parallel. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you pick one pair of opposite sides. So essentially, this is what we're looking for. One pair of opposite sides that are the same length, but also they're parallel. Okay, so first step is to pick a pair of opposite sides. I will choose AD and BC. So that would be these opposite sides here. If you wanted to choose CD and AB, then you can, um, as long as you choose sides that are opposite. And then we're going to find the slope of both of these. So either you can count it, one, two, three, four up, and one to the right, which is just four. And BC is also one, two, three, four up, one to the right, which is also four. So same slope means that those lines must be parallel, okay? So, so far we've proved that they're parallel. Now I need to show that they're congruent using the distance formula. And I'm still working with the same set of sides. Go ahead, pause the video, work out your distance formula, and then when you're done, resume to check and see if you got the answer correct. Okay, once you complete your distance formula, then you'll find that they do, in fact, have the same distance, which means that those opposite sides are congruent. So then you answer your question, is this a parallelogram? Yes, because of this property right up here. One pair of opposite sides... are parallel and congruent, okay? And that's all. Method number four is a little bit different. This one's a lot shorter, so I think most of you will like this method, but make sure you make a note that you can only use the diagonals for this method, none of the sides, okay? So it might be a good idea to quickly sketch your points and then fill in the diagonals. So my diagonals in this case are DB, and AC. That's important to note. All right. So what do we know about diagonals of a parallelogram? They should bisect each other. And to figure out if something's being bisected, we know it's kind of like a midpoint. So we can use the midpoint formula. So we're going to find the midpoint of each diagonal. So midpoint of DB well, what's our midpoint formula? Add up the x's, cut it in half. That gives you the x-coordinate of your midpoint. Add up the y's, cut it in half. And that gives you the y-coordinate of your midpoint. So for db, I'm going to add 1 plus negative 1, cut it in half. And 4 plus 6, cut it in half. This right here is going to give me 0, 6 plus 4 is 10, cut 10 in half, you get 5. Now we're also going to find the midpoint of AC. So A and C, negative 2 plus 2, cut it in half, and then 2 and 8, cut that in half. So again, negative 2 plus 2 gives you 0 again, 
2 plus 10 is 8, divided by 2 is also 5. Hmm, look at that. The midpoints are the same. Well, if the midpoints are the same, that means that both of them are meeting at the same midpoint, which means they bisect one another. So, is this a parallelogram? Yes. Because diagonals bisect each other. You could also add, since they have the same midpoint, okay? These are the four methods for proving that a quadrilateral is also a parallelogram on the coordinate plane. So you really need to know your formulas for distance formula, slope formula, and midpoint formula. Okay? Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to set up an appointment.